Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on Excel. Abiola David is my name. In this video, we're going to see how to convert numbers stored in text to actual numbers in Excel. So let's get started. We'll be seeing its example. So the first example is how to use the flash field to achieve that operation, followed by using the smart tags, value function, paste special empty cell, and divide. And of course, we'll be seeing how to use the text columns, notepad, and the power query. So let's start with the first example, which is the flash field. Now we have the same data set across the eight sheet tabs. So we can actually see the sales amount in column B. Now I'm going to use the is number to verify whether it is actual numbers or not. So press my tab key, click on cell B2, close parenthesis, control, enter. Now it's returned first because it is actually text okay so i'm going to copy the formula down now everything return false okay so what i'm going to do is to use the flash field now the flash field is also the same thing as programming by example meaning that we're going to give excel the very first example and it's going to follow that pattern to return all the other numbers now i'm going to type in cell c2 the same number we have in cell B2, which is 5403. Okay, and I hit control enter, or you can even click on enter. Anyone is fine. Then you go to the home tab, and in the editing group, we have the fill. Then you click on the flash fill. Amazing. Or I'm going to press control Z. You can even do control E. That's the shortcut. Can you see? So we have returned the numbers. Now let's use the is number. To verify whether it is actually going to come out as true or not so click on the c2 close parenthesis control enter now it returned true copy the formula down with all field amazing so that's the first example now let's see the smart tags again we have the same you know data set now to the left of the column b we have this tag so when i click on this drop down we have the convert to number option so i'm going to click on that and that automatically converts the text to numbers. That's cool. Let's go to the third example, which is the value function. Again, I'm going to come to cell C2, equal sign, then I type in value. Now, the function converts a text string that represents a number to a number. So I'm going to press my tab key to select the function, click on cell B2, close parenthesis, control, enter, copy down the formula with the other field. Amazing. That's cool. I can actually see the formula in here. So this is amazing. We can actually use the is number to verify. Okay, click on cell C2, close parenthesis, control enter. It returned true. Copy that formula. Let's go to the next example, which is the paste special empty cell. So I'm going to copy any cell that is empty, control C, then I select the range. Okay, then I go to the paste. I'm click on the paste special now in the paste special dialog box under the operation I'm going to click on add and okay can you see that it has converted that to actual numbers so we can actually just verify equal sign is number press my tab key click on cell b2 close parenthesis control enter copy down the formula with the other field that's cool okay now let's see the paste special divide so I'm going to put in a cell, let's say one, control enter. I'm going to copy the cell again. We'll select the range, then click on paste and click on paste special. So we can actually use multiply, divide, add, subtract. Anyone is fine. So I'm going to go with the divide, then click OK. Boom, that's ready. So let's verify equal sign, this number, press my tab key. Then I want um, B2. Close parenthesis, control enter, it's returned true. Copy down the formula, amazing. Let's see the sixth example, which is the text to columns. Now, this is the way text to column works. You need to select the range or the list you actually want to deploy text to columns on. Having done that, then you go to the data tab under the data tools group. We have the text to columns, so click on that, and then we have the step one of three, and the step one talks about choosing the data type so we are okay with the delimited so i click on next and the step two talks about the delimiters whether you want to use tabs and colon and so on and so forth but we don't want to change anything so we are fine so click on next and the step three talks about where you actually want to 
put the data type format or the destination we are fine with the b2 so i click on finish amazing so it has converted the text to numbers then let's verify each number press my tab key b2 close parenthesis control enter copy down the formula this is the formulas okay and it returned true meaning that actual numbers cool now let's see the seventh example which is the notepad i love this trick so much so i'm going to just open a notepad on my system so just type in notepad okay so i'm going to press alt tab to go to excel so i'm going to just copy the numbers study text Control c alt tab to go to the notepad Control v to paste then i'm going to use Control a to copy Control c Control a to select Control c to copy alt tab to go back to excel then i do Control v amazing can you see that so let's verify each number press my tab key c2 close parenthesis Control enter it returned true copy down the formula everything returned true that's cool i love that trick now the last one which is the power query i love that so much also now the first i'm going to do is to convert our data to an excel table by pressing Control t okay then we have this intermediate create table dialog box and my table as headers has been checked automatically so i click on ok okay so if you have excel for microsoft 365 then you actually right click and choose this get data from table slash range but if you don't have that then you can come to the traditional data tab under the get and transform data we have the from table for slash range you can even do okay so we have the power query editor open and we can actually see our data we can see the two columns now i don't need to do anything because automatically the power query has converted the number studying text to a whole number data types so you can actually see the one two three whole number data type which is fine so i don't need to do anything but the only thing i'm going to do is to transform the date data type from date time to date okay so i'm going to click on the icon to the left of the column then i click choose date then we have an intermediate change column type so we can actually add a new step or replace the current step so i'm going to click on replace current step and we have the date in the proper date data type so i'm going to just click on close and load to so it closes the power query and we are loading the data back to a table so we can see in this import data so we want it in a table and where do we want to be we want it in the existing worksheet so i'm going to just dump it in column d and i click ok and of course we're going to see the data being loaded imported back to excel so let's see in a moment amazing so we can actually see our date and we can see our <laughs> numbers now let's verify in column a if equal sign is number press my tab key click on cell e2 now we can see this structured referencing syntax okay now this is because our data is already in an excel table as we imported it from the power query so i close my parenthesis and i deploy control enter and it fills that because that's one of the table features so everything returns true so this is basically eight method different ways in which we can convert text stored to actual numbers so i hope you've learned something new if you do enjoy this tutorial give some likes and remember to click on the bell icon if you have subscribed but if you haven't subscribed please ensure you subscribe thank you and bye for now